Good afternoon for all the attendees. Thank you for coming to my presentation today in IEEE Sensors 2020. My name is Indianto. I am from Tohoku University, Sendai, Japan. And I would like to present my topic of magnetic field sensor based on hybrid of magnetostrictive and piezoelectric material. Let me start my presentation today. So, magnetic field sensor has provided many benefits in human civilization in many fields such as medical, biology, engineering, and many more. The future development of the magnetic sensor is a magnetic sensor which has low power consumption, can be used in flexible measurement condition, and easy to fabricate and to set up. The magnetoelectric based magnetic sensor emerged as one of the candidates to accomplish the needs of future magnetic field sensor. It is based on the capability of the magnetostrictive material to convert magnetic field to strain, then coupled with the piezoelectric material to produce electrical charge. It has several advantages that meet the future needs of magnetic sensor, such as low power consumption by the self-conversion magnetic field to electrical signal. The other is uh, it can be used in direct measurement in room temperature. Also, it is easy to fabricate. And moreover, it can be uh, have possibility for a miniaturization of the device. The miniaturization has different effects in many applications. The possibility of performance enhancement of the sensor is also one of the goal of this research. Biomagnetic field is a point of interest in development of magnetic sensor. It has extremely low magnetic field and moreover low frequency which made it remains challenge for developing magnetic field sensor. Detecting such magne magnetic field has many benefits to understand the inside of human body. Uh, the purpose of this research is to design and to fabricate a magnetic field sensor based on the magnetoelectric effect and observe the performance enhancement by miniaturization. Fabrication of the device can be explained in four big steps. First, we do the thermal oxidation of a silicon wafer as a base substrate. And second, we deposit the materials as it is stated on the figure. We deposit at first uh, platinum and titanium with magnetron sputter. Then we deposit the PZT using the sol gel method we do the atomic layer deposition to deposit the alumina and again magnetron sputter rf magnetron sputter to deposit the titanium and platinum and finally we deposit the galvanol with the ion beam sputter the third the cantilever structure is patterned by photolithography and ion beam milling and the fourth the release of cantilever structure by backside deep RIE and vapor HF etching. The top view of the device design can be seen in this uh, figure. And these are the fabricated uh, galvanol PZT micro cantilever. The cantilevers are successfully fabricated as seen on the same image. You can see the galvanol film, the top electrode, bottom electrode, all in the three, all, on, all in the in the in the three image SEM image. Uh, the different fabricated cantilever dimension is to see the effect of the structure modification to the sensor's performance. Bending to the cantilever structure is due to the internal film stress, mainly the platinum film. By controlling the sputter condition of the film, the st internal stress can be reduced. These are the experimental setup to evaluate our device, a system based on the vibration observation 
optically by the laser Doppler fibrometer and electrically by the uh, PZT uh, uh, electrical charge produ uh, produced by the PZT and a permanent magnet is used to evaluate the sensitivity of the sensor. Cantilever with 300 micrometer length and 50 micrometer width is used to see the signal consistency optically and electrically. It is found that both optical and electrical optical and electrical signal shows the same resonance frequency value of 12.45 kilohertz and the same quality factor of 890. And from the electrical observation, it is seen that the whole vibration is elevated outside the resonance frequency. So the capability of wide range frequency is considerable. More about the biomagnetic field uh, frequency, low frequency also can be measured. By magnet induction, we can see that the resonance frequency is shifted by both magnetic field and magnetic field gradient. The frequency shift by magnetic field is caused by the delta E effect, while the shift by magnetic field gradient is caused by the magnetic force. The sensitivity is evaluated from the slope with the value towards magnetic field is 4.1 hertz per millitesla and towards a magnetic field gradient is 2.6 hertz per tesla per meter. Then we analyze the noise level of the sensor by the Allen variance. The minimum shift observed, the minimum shift observed is about 0 0.02 hertz, which equivalent to 4.5 micro tesla. To improve this value, we consider what is the noise source of the sensor. It is seen by the Allen variance analysis, the dominant noise source before stability comes from the white noise, as known as thermal noise. The thermal noise can be reduced by miniaturization by making the structure more uh, thinner and narrower structure. Another consideration is to utilize another material with high quality factor. So if we can find a material which have a higher quality factor, such as aluminum nitride to change the PZT, so the lower uh, noise also can be achieved. To confirm the theory, several dimensions of cantilevers are compared by Allen deviation analysis. This graph is comparison of uh, width and this uh, graph is uh, comparison of length of the structure. So, the noise shows the dependence with structure modification, which indicates the enhancement with miniaturization is possible. For example, if we can see, uh, if, if we see at this part, so thinner structure have a lower uh, noise than the wider structure. And another part, if we follow the thermomechanical noise equation, we can see that the longer structure is, has a lower uh, noise than the shorter structure. The other things that we can evaluate that the, the time to stability also dependent to the structure. In the future, it should take consideration to match the application convenient uh, measurement time. Then the last part of my presentation, I would like to conclude. So first, the simple fabrication of micro cantilever with galvanol and PZT layers for magnetic field sensing purpose has been demonstrated. The resonance peak observation optically with the laser Doppler fibrometer 
and electrically by signal generated from PGT films shows the same as exact same values of 12.45 kilohertz with quality, quality factor of 890. And the third, the micro cantilever can react to a magnet with high sensitivity of 4.1 hertz per milli tesla towards magnetic field, which is come from the delta E effect, and 2.6 hertz per tesla per meter towards magnetic field gradient, which is from the magnetic force induced to the structure of micro cantilever. And fourth, by the Allen variance analysis, the noise of the sensor is dependent to the structure, which shows the benefit of miniaturization. And fifth, further improvement by following the structure dependence of thermal noise should be done to achieve the biomagnetic field level. That's all my presentation today. Thank you very much for your kind attention.